Teenage children can be incredibly ruthless to their teachers. And yesterday we started talking about pranks that were played on teachers. And uh, all of a sudden, hilarity ensued. It's still funny when you drive a teacher to the brink. And uh, it's not funny for the teachers, but we want to ask you this morning, Sydney, one triple three five three, which teacher did you break? Tell us the circumstances, because I was talking about uh, a teacher called Ray. Uh, let's call him Ray Smith. Uh, <laughs> We're going to say Hadley. Because that's his real name. Because <laughs> that's his real name. And he was our science teacher, and we would kick the back of the benches and drive him crazy. Uh, but it was his reaction that kept it going. Anyway, he kept us in for lunchtime detention and he would very meticulously peel a banana and it was going towards his mouth, looked very phallic. And then as he was about to bite it, the whole class would go, and he'd bite down and go, whoa! And then with a mouthful of banana, he would stop it! Stop that! I'm trying to eat my lunch. He'd swallow the piece of banana and go for another bite. I was like, whoa. Hey! eating the banana. Why did he just stop? Go for the sandwich. <laughs> because it would have been admitting defeat. <laughs> we actually broke a teacher who'd already been broken. We found out he'd been to another school. And uh, at the uh, last school, the last straw was all the kids picking him up and throwing him in the pool at the swimming carnival. Oh, my God. Did he cry? I don't know if he cried or not, but he was broken. He left that school, but when he came to our school to make sure there was no chatter, you know, amongst kids to, Mm. you know, collaborate stories about him, he changed his name. So we actually started using, I I believe it was his mother's maiden name or something. So we knew him as Mr. Jeffries for ages. And then we found out that his real name was Flynn. And this became a big thing for anyone to know oh, that his name was Flynn. That his past had caught up with him. And oh, someone terrible. once dropped Mr. Flynn. He In actually blew up and said, I never want to hear that again. And so what we do. <laughs> was a trigger for him from all these things. So people had write it on the blackboard before he walked oh, in and things like that Mr. or whatever. But the best one we did was when he looked out the window into, I think it was the B quad at school, you know, the big cement yeah. area. Students had all laid out and aligned themselves to spell out the word flint. <laughs> With their bodies? <laughs> yeah. About, oh, my God. I think it was. About- You've got the moon man in the morning. Sydney's 104.9 Triple M.